Hey guys, this is Captain Gallate and welcome to the second episode of our Advance Wars reboot camp. Um, I guess war room campaign you can call it. Um, so yeah, last episode we went to Span Island to get an S rank there. And uh, today we're gonna move over to the next uh, war room. Um, I changed the layout a little bit, changed the sounds uh, after the last video. So I hope everything... Um, is a little bit better. Um, looks like it's gonna be Moji Island. Um, I see we have a slight advantage on this map. Um, we have three bases each, but we already have more cities, so I think that's already an income of a thousand or something. I'm not quite sure how that works. If they also count the cities or the uh, HQ and bases, I mean. Um, but it seems like the base on the bottom left is very important to capture. And the one on the top right could... Well, I don't know if I'm uh, gonna emphasize on that one. Um, because it's in the middle of the woods. And you will get slowed down quite a bit. Um, maybe just sending an infantry to that base in the bottom left. With an APC could be the right idea to get things moving fast. Otherwise, this map is really big, so it could take a long time. But um, let's um, try and get it done as fast as possible. Um, I feel like it's um, a good game for Sammy. Um... Just for the fact that uh, she's good with infantry and there's a lot of things to capture. But then again, we're also playing against Grit, who is uh, good at long distance uh, shots. Um, and with that, either Eagle could be good or Max to um, counter that a little bit. Um, I never played with Nell actually, that could be fun too, but I'll uh, try that out uh, on my own. Um, randomly strike up to 60 power. Alright, that's a... Sounds a little bit like the one in Advance Wars 2, the Barbaric Glow and the, those kind of things that also get random bu buffs. So it's not really a certainty. Um, so let's let's go with a good old Max to get some certainty in there. So yeah, I think my plan will be to go to the bottom left as quick as possible. And send another infantry to the right. Um, so how much do we have to spend here? Oh, we can do that. Okay, so that's a game plan for now. He's just building free infantry. Alright. Let's get it moving. Maybe I'll build another one of those. Um, he can go into the woods uh, ASAP. And then I could also already send some defensive stuff there. But maybe getting money is the first thing I want to do. So another one of those. And um, next round, maybe I'll, I'll uh, send over a tank or something. Or get one infantry already to the left here for those cities. Because he has a long way to go too. Maybe he also builds... Oh. See, again, just like last episode, they, are, they just start building um, these anti-air artillery. And uh, I'll show you in a bit, um, because I think they're not even that cheap. Let's see. Anti-air is 8,000. If you look at a tank, there's... Oh, maybe that's the reason. Maybe that's the reason. There are only 8. And if you don't have tanks to counter... Well, tank is 7. AA is 8. I still think tank is better. Because you see the circle around uh, vehicles. The anti-air doesn't have that. So I think it 
they'll benefit more from building a tank than from an AA. But maybe it, the AA is better against infantry troops, so... I guess there is something to say about both of the uh, options. Neither of them uh, are probably bad. Right. But he's great anyway, so um, I'm not gonna benefit from the direct uh, buffs. I think he'll be here fast though, so that tank needs to come with Asa. Um, you can go here so we get something going. Get there? Yeah. Right. Um, from there we can maybe do like a attack or something. I need to do something before he gets there. Maybe I have to put my APC right in front of the bridge so we cannot cross. But for now he's not really moving that much. So I don't really see a risk there. In um, just going with the nearby cities here and taking my time with that. Um, how far can you go? My APC right there, so you can get in. Right. Because he couldn't capture a city right now anyway, um, so I think I'll push him down as well. Uh, and capture the base now. Maybe I'll send one into the woods. Might not be that right now. And then um, a few turns we'll have this base here as well. We just overwhelm him with tanks at that point. I think I need to be really careful with the one at the top right, because he puts his um, indirect uh, firepower there, rockets or uh, the artillery. You can just shoot into the woods while just standing here on the edge. Next could be good. Uh, not sure. I am not sure what to do. Let's see what, what the rest can do for now. He's, he, now he's coming. Uh, I don't need to worry him crossing right now. Still have time. And drop you. I'll put you closer. Capture that one. Then closer. And I think with the other tank, I'm going to it also, or not yet. Maybe I'll just build a tank here. Should I put an... I think I'll build an MD tank over here in the next round. They'll call them MD tanks even though they uh, have the full name in this game now. I remember from the Game Boy they shortened uh, the names of certain uh, things, <laughs> units, that's the word. Right. Go there. I don't know why they all got back immediately. I mean, I don't mind. That way I can push. Big push. It, now I'm not sure if I should do it. Because now these are going to the woods. Maybe a recon is better than a tank. 
actually. Where can you go? Maybe. It, it doesn't really serve a use anymore, so maybe that's uh, not too bad. Do that. Oh yeah, we already built a tank, so... Day number seven. Already a week has passed and we haven't even gotten into any battles. So what's happening on the right is more or less a distraction from what I'm about to do. Could have also gone with an APC into this area. Time to do a big push. Like if he will build rockets in the next turn, this possible of course. Okay, next turn I'm gonna hop all those to APC. You can shoot until bar. <laughs> I'm not gonna build anything there. It's uh, not really to my benefit. He's building recon on the tank. Doesn't benefit from that. Alright. Push there. We're gonna exterminate him from the inside. It's in the city, so we'll, we'll recover. I just did that to get some defense there. Does not really matter. Point. Up in the car, in the car. Let's drive. Mm -mm. Maybe a normal tank? Pretty good. Here I'm just distracting him basically. I'm not gonna do anything here. No use. Oh, he's gonna die. <laughs> he's gonna die. I did not think that one. I don't think there was a, a way to save that unit. Yeah, they're uh, they're done for. That will take a long wait. Yeah, knew that one was coming. Still not building rockets. Even though I think he has a lot of um, burns here, I guess you could say. Wait, until where can you? Okay, so that city is safe. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Just push as far as we can with a little defense there. Put those here. I'm not gonna be able to push to the HQ immediately anyway. I could build tanks, two tanks in one turn. 
Yeah, I really need to run away. So there's no way. It's just dead. Sorry, man. is leaving its, its HQ almost open for me. What? That's odd. Alright. Right. So he's not defending any of these. If I could get a unit here, I'm, I'm good. But I can't do that yet. Uh, Dude, you're so dead. Done. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. Get him to the cannons? I don't know. This is the line where they're safe. Hmm, that didn't look that bad. Maybe, 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 maybe. I will load one of these. 88. Could be enough to kill it with that um, two tank here. Okay. So far, so good. That one out of the way as well. It's just that this tank is bothering me right now. I think I'll put this one here. Um. Where can you go? Anywhere he wants. I want him to get killed. Do here. Get those in. Do you have so? Tanks are enough though. But I do like MD tanks a lot. <laughs> Just gives it a little bit of certainty. Huh? Yep. At this point, I guess I could also overwhelm him. Because he doesn't have that many units. This looks better already for him. Um, I'm sure I want to do this though. Later. <laughs> Later. Um, let's see how far you get. Getting there yet. Okay, okay. Wait, let me reset this. I didn't even know this was a thing in the, the original version. But it's it has been very useful for me. The reset turn. A little bit of a cheat, because you can uh, kind of... Especially in Fog of War, you can a little bit... Uh, see where units are and then reset your turn with that knowledge. So, um, 
Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's sometimes a little bit OP to do that. But hey, if it works, it works, right? And it's uh, not against the rules. Did I miss this one? I could do this. I don't even remember what I did anymore. Anyway, we're locking all those in and um, sending my APC. Because these are not going to live. At all. Alright, where can you go? Okay, now we can still attack everyone. Not anymore. Could have also tactically... Tactically... Let them live, because sometimes they, because they are weak, they let them stay there to regain some uh, of that health. I don't even know what's happening around here, actually. Yeah, still cannot hit me. So he could have a CO power, though. Yeah. And then those two are dead. Because the uh, the range of his units is ex take... is extended. Snipe attack. Not that bad. Wait, what? Okay, I didn't expect a range like that. Um, but I have mine too, which is, which is really perfect. Max Force! That's perfect timing, because there are some heavier... Uh... The focus should be right now on clearing all this, so... Like, the rocket is not that important to take out. Because it cannot hit me if I'm at the HQ. Something to uh, take into account. Okay, you can move there. 75. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Right, with them. Yeah. This one's gonna take that one out. The rocket is not gonna hit me. None of my units actually here. Nice. You're done. And I'm gonna put you here. For fun and giggles, I'm gonna put this one here. Alright, I think, um, yeah, there, there is no chance, no chance, that he even gets away this infantry. Next turn, we got it. 100%. I don't know if this was the best strategy, but it worked for me. These were cleared out last turn, but it really didn't matter, it was really just a, a distraction of what was going on on the left. That's why pushing that far into the map in the beginning was so important. And there it is. For two weeks we got a sweet victory. And there we go. takes care of that yeah not bad i think yeah perfect score just not on the technique but i'll take that i'll take that that was really really good it felt uh, like i was picking up speed pretty well and like sometimes i feel like i'm taking too long and with this um 
this battle or on this map, uh, it felt like I knew what was important to do right from the start. Push down to that bottom left and get it done within 14 days. So that is uh, really, really, really good. Um, so yeah, that wraps up uh, the second battle uh, or second War Room uh, episode. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for uh, more of these and uh, I'll see you there. Bye-bye.